Today, we're going to see how to perform a switchover in a PowerHA environment. I have a web application that is running on a web server on IBM I. It is a simple hotel management system with a dashboard, reservations, billing, and so forth. And this application can access data in an IASP on my IBM I. I've made a small modification to this application. You'll notice in the top right corner, it shows what node it is on, prod currently, and that it has a status of online. The address of this web server is using what is called a server takeover IP address in PowerHA. This enables me to switch the IP address when I perform a role swap, making it appear seamless to end users and other applications. Now I'm going to bring up my IBM I systems. First, I have my primary node, prod, on the left in green. On the right, I have my backup node called HA in blue. I'm also going to bring up another session as an example of what a user might see signing into the system. You'll notice that I have users pointing to HADEV01 Clue, my takeover IP address. I have the green screen version of my hotel management system. It also shows the system I am connected to is prod. Now that we have our bearings, let's perform a switchover. I can manage PowerHA from any node in the cluster. Most PowerHA screens will show you the identical information regardless of what node you are on. So I'm going to go to my production node for this. The main menu in PowerHA is Work Clue or Work with Cluster. Switching in PowerHA is controlled by a Cluster Resource Group or CRG. So I'm selecting Option 9, Work with Cluster Resource Groups. Here we can see that I have a CRG called HMS CRG. It is currently active, meaning PowerHA is actively monitoring the replication. We run health checks in the background at regular intervals to ensure the environment is always ready to switch. We can also see that our primary node is prod. To perform the switch, let's select option 3, change primary. I'm asked to confirm my switch, so I'm going to press F16 to confirm. PowerHA is going to start with a health check to ensure the environment is ready to switch. Then it will end my IP interfaces. You can see when it did that, the web version now shows that we are offline. And if I try to do something in the green screen, we can also see we're unable to access it. Then PowerHA begins to vary off the IASP, which ends all jobs currently accessing it. Depending on your application and how long it takes to shut down, this phase of the process can vary. It then flushes anything in memory down to disk. Next, we can see that PowerHA is performing a switch of our storage, running the jobs on the various nodes to make this possible. This panel makes it easy to monitor the switchover progress. PowerHA is now beginning to vary on the independent ASP on our new production system, starting our application, and it will then start our takeover IP address. We can now see that our web interface has updated to show that node HA is the current node, and it is online. Our green screen interface can reconnect as well, and it shows that HA is the current node. That's how easy it can be to perform a switchover in a PowerHA environment. This is all made possible by our core focus at Help Systems, security and automation solutions. With a complete family of integrated enterprise class solutions for IBM I, from HA to automation to BI, along with solutions for all platforms across your enterprise, including Windows, Unix, Linux, and supporting infrastructure that is on-prem, in the cloud, and hybrid cloud environments. Let us help you build a better IT.